टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी मीन्स मोर सेंसिटिविटी टुवर्ड एनी काइंड ऑफ द एंटीजन ओके सो हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी कैन बी डिफाइंड एज ए स्टेट ऑफ अल्टर्ड इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स और वी कैन से लाइक द इंक्रीज इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स अगेंस्ट एन एंटीजन कैरेक्टराइज बाय द हाइपर रिएक्टिविटी लीडिंग टू द इम्यूनोपैथोलॉजी ओके सो सपोज एंड दिस हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन रिक्वायर ए प्री सेंसिटाइज स्टेट ऑफ द होस्ट वॉट इट मीन्स इट मीन्स लाइक इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन सपोज यू इनकाउंटर्ड विद सर्टन काइंड ऑफ एंटीजन और सर्टन काइंड ऑफ द एलर्जन सो सम मेमोरी विल बी क्रिएटेड इन साइड आवर बॉडी एंड वंस वेन नेक्स्ट टाइम दिस पर्टिकुलर एंटीजन और एलर्जन एनकाउंटर विथ योर Your immune system. That time, uh, this uh, uh, this memory cell will um, work as a immune defense mechanism. Okay, but in a very uh, like uh, hyper reactive manner, and um, this uh, uh, hyper sensitive reaction is like uh, it is a localized kind of the reaction. Suppose you cause uh, in uh, means uh, in your um, skin is the first uh, entering site of your uh, antigen. Then only in this skin, this hyper sensitivity reaction will occur, not uh, from the whole body. Okay, so this hyper sensitivity reaction is a kind of local uh, response. It is not the like. so throughout your body response okay so hypersensitivity required three things first thing is the allergen should be like pre sensitized or um, you should uh, have already encountered with particular type of antigen or allergen and once when you uh, encounter then second time when this antigen and allergen uh, you get in then this reaction will um, so its response in a localized uh, site okay and uh, in a very hyper reactive manner which co- which can cause the immunopathology okay and uh, uh, there are two type of the um, hyper sensitivity one is the immediate hyper sensitivity another one is the delayed type hyper sensitivity okay and this immediate hyper sensitivity is mainly uh, caused by the humoral immunity or we can say like it is um, based on the antibody mediated uh, immune response okay and this delayed type hyper sensitivity is majorly um, uh, because of the cell mediated immunity or t cell um, cytotoxic t cell mediated immune response or cytokine based immune response okay so this uh, this is the hyper sensitivity so uh there are uh, according uh, there are uh, means uh, four different type of the hypersensitivity uh, first one is the type 1 hypersensitivity okay so it is also known as the immediate or anaphylactic uh, hypersensitivity okay and it can cause um, by the ige antibody okay that you have to remember like type 1 hypersensitivity is majorly preceded by the ige antibody okay so how it happen the reaction occur on exposure to the allergen for the second time not uh, means uh, uh, if you are encountering uh, the allergen with first time then this hyper sensitivity will not work okay normal your immune system will take care of this but when uh, you are encountering with uh, the allergen for the second time then this uh, type 1 hyper sensitivity will work and the first um, first exposure uh, that is called as the sensitizing dose okay because that time you are creating the memory for uh, that allergen or antigen okay so uh, that is called the sensitizing dose result in sensitization of host cell to the allergen okay you cre- uh, you will create the memory for the um, uh, means uh, for that particular uh, allergen inside your body and subsequent exposure will cause the reaction okay so uh, this is the mechanism like for um, causing the type 1 hyper sensitivity you have to firstly encounter with this uh, antigen or allergen then uh, after that when you encounter with the second time then this um, ige mediated immune response will be uh, sowed in the particular location where you got the in- infection that particular location only this uh, response will happen okay so it is uh, uh, like uh, it is also anaphylactic um, uh, hypersensitivity called because anaphylactic means it is uh, like more extensive more uh, rapid more uh, 
क्विकली इट इज हैपनिंग ओके सो लाइक एनाफेलेटिक सॉक अगर इन द सेंसिटाइज एनिमल विद इन द सेकेंड टू मिनट ओके सो फिफ्टीन टू थर्टी मिनट आफ्टर एक्सपोजर टू द एलर्जन इट इट इज सो द रिस्पॉन्स ओके एंड आफ्टर एक्सपोजर टू द एंटीजन नाउ कॉल्ड एज एन एलर्जन एंड समटाइम द रिएक्शन मे हैव ए डिलेड ऑनसेट बट इट इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड लाइक Uh, under the delayed type of hypersensitivity, it is the immediate type of uh, hypersensitivity. Okay, but um, uh, uh, me, most of the time uh, the reaction cause uh, within uh, 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, and the type one hypersensitivity reaction, the allergen are uh, proteins basically with a molecular weight which are uh, which is ranging from the 10 to 40 kilo daltons. Okay. so uh, these are basically proteins and um, um, there are different uh, like um, some pollen grain also can be like um, uh, cause of the type 1 hypersensitivity like uh, it is nothing but in a, uh, means in simple term if i will say then it is a kind of allergic reaction okay so suppose sometime some uh, bee will bite you that time uh, some inflammation happen inside our body so that is also a kind of the type 1 hypersensitivity okay so like that some uh, someone is having uh, allergy towards the pollen grain like that so it is a kind of also a l- allergy and apart from that if uh, certain kind of the protein uh, go inside and uh, within uh, 15 to 30 minute um, if uh, your body is showing response in a particular location uh, then it is called as a uh, like uh, anaphylactic uh, hypersensitivity okay so for diagnostic test for immediate hypersensitivity include the um, skin test resulting in the will and flare reaction okay and measurement of the total ige and specific ige antibody against the suspected allergen by elisa you can find out like how um, um, a severe your uh, inflammation is okay so, like if it is uh, showing more uh, ige antibody then um, uh, then you can find out like uh, you are having the severe hypersensitivity okay through elisa and through uh, radio allergo uh, um, allergo sorbent test okay so most common is the elisa only okay so um, we uh, means from patient we take the blood and um, we check the um, uh, like uh, antibody titer how much uh, antibody uh, ig antibody is present inside of the um, patient uh, body so through uh, that we can identify like uh, how much severe the hypersensitivity is okay so it is the diagnostic uh, test okay so uh, what is the mechanism of type 1 hypersensitivity so the mechanism of reaction involve preferentially production of the ige okay so that you have to remember like in case of type 1 hypersensitivity the major antibody is that ige antibody okay and it will produced against the certain type of antigen and in uh, most of the cases it is the allergen okay and in some cases only some kind of protein which is having the molecular weight 10 to 40 kilo dalton then that can cause the type 1 hypersensitivity but most of the time it is called as the allergens okay and um, ige antibody is the major antibody which um, lead this type 1 hypersensitivity okay and um, this uh, individual which is prone to type 1 hypersensitivity preferentially produce the interleukin 4 and interleukin 13 that favors the ige class switch okay so this interleukins will um, enhance the ige production as well as the uh, ige subtype it will um, uh, help to uh, class switch okay then uh, it is having very high affinity for its receptor that is the cd23 which is exp- um, expressed on the surface of mast cell and basophil cell okay and the fc portion of ige bind to this receptor okay so um, like uh, yeah here if we will see uh, suppose um, this is the type 1 hypersensitivity reaction okay so firstly allergen first first time when it uh, go inside your body that time normal immune response will happen okay so msc will um, presented this allergen to the cd4 and cd4 again um, send signal to the b cell to produce uh, for uh, this memory cell as well as the plasma cell okay so this plasma cell what it will do is when second time this allergen again come then uh, this ige this plasma cell will produce the ige antibody and this ige antibody is 
having the FC receptor. We have seen that in um, uh, antibody um, structure, there is uh, two part. One is the FAB domain which is present here, which bind to the antigen, okay, and another one is the FC domain, okay. So, this FC domain is having a um, receptor uh, in, uh, inside the mast cell and the basophil cell, okay. So, this is the, this black color is the receptor for the um, IgE antibody FC receptor, okay. So, uh, when this um, uh, mast cell um, FC receptor uh, bind to the IgE antibody then what will happen is this uh, mast cell or either uh, basophil cell will be activated okay and it will start producing some um, uh, granular uh, granular uh, part that is most of the time is the histamine okay so um, uh, it it will cause the degranulation okay so yeah here it is saying uh, the degranulation, um, mast cell degranulation is preceded by the increased calcium uh, ion influx which is a crucial process. Okay, so through the uh, calcium uh, ion channel influx what will happen is degranulation inside of the mast cell will happen. So in degranulation there, uh, there is lots of uh, histamine uh, is present. Okay. So, uh, histamine, uh, what it will do is, it will uh, a kind of um, anti-inflammatory molecule, okay. So, it will um, produce more, so it can, so that it can neutralize this allergen, so that's why degranulation will happen uh, and uh, the side effect of this degranulation, what will happen is, smooth muscle cell, then uh, small um, blood vessel will be also small and um, it also affect the mucus gland and um, uh, uh, also affect the blood platelet and um, affect the sensory nerve ending okay and also stimulate the eosinophil so that it can quickly uh, handle out this uh, allergen okay so this degranulation of cells result in the synthesis and secretion of inflammatory mediators such as the uh, platelet activating factor leukotrins, um, bradykinin, prostaglandin and cytokine that contribute to the inflammation okay and uh, the reaction is uh, amplified means uh, increased by the platelet activation factor okay so once this degranulation will um, happen that time certain kind of molecule will be uh, produced and uh, one of those molecule is the platelet activation factor which will increase this reaction so that's why it is called as the hyper uh, response right because uh, this molecule will enhance those particular immune response so that's why the um, like uh, the allergen can quickly neutralize uh, by the immune system okay and um, uh, uh, because of this there is a release of the histamine heparin and uh, vasoactive amines eosinophil chemo uh, chemotactic factor of uh, anaphylaxis and neutrophils all this type of uh, molecule will be secreted during this response okay and this agent cause the early phase of the aller allergic reaction as I told you like it will happen within the 15 to 30 minutes after the um, allergen get enters your body okay and the last phase allergic reaction may begin several hours after the exposure to antigen. The cell bound IgE on the surface of basophil of sens uh, sensitive individual bind a substance called the histamine releasing factor uh, by the macrophage and um, uh, lymphocyte causing further histamine release okay. So, uh, like um, this whole process is um, carried out by two uh, major, uh, three major things. First one is the like IgE antibody, okay, which will produce and uh, through the plasma cell and it will go and bind to the mast cell where it is having the receptor for it, okay either mast cell or either the basophils then this mast cell and basophil uh, will be stimulated and it will start uh, producing the degranule particles okay and this degranule particles are the like um, prostaglandin bradykinin cytokines all this type of particle it will produce and one of the major um, particle is the histamine okay it will increase the response okay and um, uh, yeah like uh, for uh, neut uh, quickly neutralizing this allergenic reaction and it is a kind of like uh, immediate immune response okay so this is the type 1 hypersensitivity then the pathology of type 1 hypersensitivity the primary cellular component in type 1 is the mast cell or basophil and the reaction is amplified by the platelet uh, neutrophils and eosinophils okay 
एंड द रिएक्शन में इन्वॉल्व आयदर स्किन इट कैन अकर आयदर स्किन आइज एंड नेजो फेरिंग्स एंड गैस्ट्रो इंटस्टाइनल टैक्ट एंड लाइक द रिएक्शन में कॉज फ्रॉम द माइनर इनकन्वीनियंस टू द डेथ ओके बट इट इज मोर लाइकली लाइक ए इन्फ्लामेटरी रिएक्शन सो डेथ इज नॉट सो कॉमन इन इन दिस केस ओके इन मोस्ट डोमेस्टिक स्पीसीज द लंग्स आर द प्राइमरी टारगेट ऑर्गन एंड लाइक डॉग एंड ऑल ओके एंड द आई जी ई मीडिएटेड डिसीज इन ह्यूमन इंक्लूड द सिस्टमेटिक एनाफाइलेटिक शॉक अस्थमा एंड हे फीवर दीज आर द लाइक एग्जाम्पल फॉर द टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके अस्थमा इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके वेयर द लाइक बिकॉज ऑफ सम काइंड ऑफ एलर्जन यू आर कंटिन्यूसली यू आर हैविंग प्रॉब्लम टू टेकिंग ब्रीथ सो दैट टाइम वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज मोर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द आई जी ई एंड सो दैट्स वाई इट इज इट इज कॉजिंग द हाइपर इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स ओके एंड कंजेक्टिवाइटिस स्किन रिएक्शन फूड एलर्जी इज ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके एंड द आई जी व आई जी ई मीडिएटेड डिसीज इन एनिमल्स इंक्लूड सिस्टमेटिक एनाफाइलेटिक शॉक या ऑल दिज आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी सम ऑफ एग्जाम्पल यू कैन लाइक रिमेंबर फॉर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लाइक द अस्थमा हे फीवर एंड दिस कंजेक्टिवाइटिस एंड या एटोपिक डरमाइटिस दिस आर द लाइक एंड मोस्ट कॉमन इज द एनाफाइलेटिक शॉक ओके सो दिस थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर लाइक दिस आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी देन वी आर हैविंग द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके दैट इज द टाइप टू हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी विच इज विच इज ऑल्सो एंटीबॉडी मीडिएटेड साइटोटॉक्सिक रिएक्शन ओके एंड रिएक्शन अकरिंग वेन एन एंटीबॉडी बाइंड टू एंटीजेंस लोकेटेड ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द सेल ओके एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो ए काइंड ऑफ इमीडिएट टाइप ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके एंड इट इज मीडिएटेड प्रिमिलरली बाय द एंटीबॉडीज ऑफ आई जी एम और आई जी जी क्लास ओके सो दे टाइप टू हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी एंड इट इज बेसिकली कॉस्ड बाय द आई जी एम और आई जी जी क्लास ऑफ द एंटीबॉडी नॉट द आई जी ई एंटीबॉडी ओके सो वेन इट इज हैपन वेन योर एंटीबॉडी बाइंड टू द एंटीजन एंड विच इज लोकेटेड ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द सेल ओके सो मोस्टली सपोज दिस इज द आर बी सी एंड इफ योर आर बी सी इज हैविंग एंटीबॉडी ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द सेल देन वेन इट इनकाउंटर द एंटीजन देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज द लाइक टाइप टू हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके एंड दिस टाइप टू हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ऑल्सो रिक्वायर लाइक प्री एक्सपोजर ऑफ द एंटीजन ओके ऑल काइंड ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिव सेंसिटिविटी रिक्वायर द प्री एक्सपोजर ऑफ द एंटीजन और एलर्जन ओके बट द द प्रोसेसिंग मैथड इज डिफरेंट इन ऑल द केसेस लाइक इन केस ऑफ टाइप वन देर इज आई जी ई प्ले रोल एंड मास सेल एंड बेसोफिल प्ले रोल हियर द आई जी एम एंड आई जी जी एंटीबॉडीज प्ले रोल विथ द हेल्प ऑफ आर बी सी ओके and uh, uh, this bound antibody can cause the cell lysis by activating the uh, either um, activating the complement pathway or um, or through the antibody dependent cell cytotoxicity okay so there are two type of um, type 2 hypersensitivity for neutralization of the antigen one is the complement pathway okay so there are different uh, complement factor is there so it will activate a cascade of the complement system to remove those uh, um, antigen or it can uh, like activate the antibody dependent um, cyto cell cytotoxicity okay so this antibody will go and uh, stimulate certain kind of the cells and that cell will 
produce certain kind of the cytokine to neutralize uh, these antibodies okay so that is called the antibody dependent cell cytotoxicity okay and many different antigen may trigger this cell destruction but an infection in a genetically predisposed animal appear to be a major triggering pathway okay and uh, uh, yeah uh, the example of this type 2 hypersensitivity is most common uh, is the uh, hemolytic anemia blood transfusion okay and erythroblastosis fetalis okay this these are the most common example of the type 2 hypersensitivity okay and um, igm or igg antibodies are made against self antigen either as a result of the failure of the immune tolerance or cross reactive antibody can develop during the infection okay like in the example um, uh, from the example we can see like blood transfusion if certain um, uh, mismatch happen then uh, this um, um, uh, this antibody can be um, that much hyper like it can be cross linked with your antigen also the self antigen okay so um, um, it can cross react with your um, like a self antigen so um, which may bind to the normal tissue antigen and trigger the antibody mediated uh, cytotoxicity okay and uh, this subsequent binding of these antibodies to the surface of host cell lead to type of process either it can lead to the opsonization and another one is the uh, opsonization or complement system okay and another one is the antibody dependent cell uh, cytotoxicity okay so uh, in what happen in case of opsonization opsonization is nothing but it is the phagocytosis process but uh, it is the increased phagocytosis process okay uh, in like in case of um, opsonization jason you are uh, targeting this um, suppose this is your antigen so when antibody bind to this and uh, um, like uh, antigen or um, yeah antigen then what is have happen you are marking this antigen to your uh, immune system like uh, it, it will act as a like marker or the identification uh, mark like that uh, so that your immune def uh, your immune system can recognize this particular antigen and and do the phagocytosis but in normal case phagocytosis is normally happen for the like um, removing the death cell uh, death um, um, means uh, debris or some death uh, death cell to from our body okay but this process through the opsonization we are uh, like enhancing this process so that enhancement is called as the opsonization and uh, this antibody which is uh, tagging to this antigen is called as the opsonin okay and uh, uh, it will lead to the complement pathway so there are uh, different factors uh, of the complement pathway which will lead to the cell death or apoptosis of this um, antigen okay and uh, uh, second thing is the antibody dependent cell uh, cytotoxicity mediated destruction of the host cell where nk cell attached to the fc portion of the uh, antibodies okay they are uh, like in case of type 1 hypersensitivity mast cell um, like uh, um, is having the um, fc receptor here in case of the adcc uh, there is nk cell is having the um, uh, receptor for the fc the fc region okay so it will lead to the um, not degranulation it will lead to the secretion of certain kind of cytokine so that it can neutralize the antigen so this is the opsonization process okay so um, uh, after um, means when uh, antibody attached to the cell then um, uh, once the uh, it encounter to the antigen it will lead to the complement activation okay and um, this complement activation stimulate the some phagocyto uh, phagocytosis uh, phagocytotic uh, molecule like the macrophage and dendritic cell so that this antigen can be engulfed by this particular cell and um, uh, processed uh, uh, by these cells okay and um, this process um, is enhanced that's why it is called as the hyper uh, sensitivity okay and uh, um, complement uh, um, uh, after this uh, phagocytosis what will happen is it will um, represent it through the complement system and so that this uh, complement factor will um, um, like um, take care of this uh, to neutralize this antigen this uh, complement uh, system will be uh, like activated and uh, uh, do the neutralization of uh, this uh, uh, antigen okay
so the pathology of the type 2 hypersensitivity is uh, it is mediated by the antibody of igg and igm toward the antigen which is present on the cell surface or the extracellular matrix okay and the most common cells involved are the blood cells okay and apart from that there is the nk cell or natural killer cells okay and the outcome may be hemolytic anemia if rbc are involved leukopenia if uh, wbc are involved or uh, um, uh, like uh, if thermocytopenia if uh, platelets are involved okay under some circumstances a cytotoxic attack on vascular epithelial cell will cause a uh, vascularity with uh, local vascular leakage okay because this is the hyper uh, means a local type of reaction so it will not affect your whole body it will only affect a certain region of the body okay so um, and um, uh, yeah it will lead to the um, complement system or neutrophils or um, uh, dendritic cell macrophages like that okay and uh, uh, which uh, which cell generally do the phagocytosis okay so that type of cell it will stimulate or uh, it can uh, through stimulation it can also stimulate the uh, those cells which uh, produce the cytokine to neutralize this okay so uh, one of the most common example of um, Uh, type 2 hypersensitivity is the erythroblastosis vitellis okay so in that case what will happen is um, uh, in the first pregnancy if a mother is rh negative so they uh, in a mother's body there is no rh antigen okay but this baby is having the rh um, uh, positive antigen okay rh positive antigen so um, through placenta what will happen is um, during the delivery some rh specific uh, antigen will uh, cross the placenta and come to the inside of the mother's body okay and it will produce um, because uh, before that mother is not having this rh antigen okay so first time this rh antigen is coming inside the mother's body so um, as a foreign particle what it, uh, mother's body will do is it will uh, create some uh, certain kind of the memory cell for this uh, particular rh antigen okay when uh, the mother is second time got pregnant that time this rh antigen of um, uh, means uh, this uh, uh, baby's rh uh, antigen will cause as a second allergen for the um, mother okay so that time when it cross the placenta of mother then it um, stimulate this memory cell which is already present inside the mother's body it uh, through the like uh, placenta this memory cell will um, uh, go to the um, uh, like Uh, uh, baby's uh, uh, body and it uh, it will cause to the like um, um, uh, it will produce the igg antibody and um, which can cause the erythroblastosis vitellis uh, uh, which can lead to the abortion of the second child okay so this is a type 2 hypersensitivity okay and apart from that uh, there is some autoimmune disorder is also coming uh, another uh, second one is the like uh, 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 grave disease okay so in that grave disease what is happening is uh, antibodies are made against the thyroid stimulating hormone receptor of the thyroid cell leading to the um, faulty thyroid fun function okay so here you can see there uh, this is the thyroid epithelial cell and th uh, here it is having the thyroid stimulating hormone receptor okay so um, antibody will come and here bind to the um, this um, receptor okay uh, this thyroid stimulating receptor so it will lead to the faulty thyroid hormone uh, function okay uh, yeah uh, uh, because uh, this receptor is specific for the thyroid hormone not for the antibody uh, against the T, uh, tsh receptor right so when uh, another molecule will bind here uh, so it will lead to the faulty function mm, like that here another uh, syndrome is the uh, Uh, multiple uh, sclerosis okay where the antibodies are made against the oligo uh, dend uh, dendroglial uh, glial cells that make the myelin okay so this protein that forms the myelin sheath that insulate the nerve fiber of the neuron in the brain and spinal cord okay so here if you will see there is uh, the production of the acetylcholine and acetylcholine when will uh, grow and um, will go and bind to the receptor which is present inside the like muscle cell surface of the muscle cell then it will uh, produce the myelin sheath which is um, uh, means uh, which is uh, uh, essential for the protection of 
ऑफ योर न्यूरोन ओके सो वेन एंटीबॉडी विल गो एंड बाइंड टू दिस एसिटाइल कोलिन रिसेप्टर देन दिस एसिटाइल कोलिन विल वॉन्ट बी एबल टू बाइंड विद दिस रिसेप्टर सो दैट द माइलेंस इज विल नॉट प्रोड्यूस ओके so this uh, lead to the multiple sclerosis okay so uh, in that case you uh, you will be feeling the fatigue okay or tiredness or muscle pain like that uh, symptoms you can um, find out okay and uh, yeah these are the some uh, drugs we will use for the hypersensitivity like the penicillin which is more common uh, antibiotic okay uh, yeah then type 3 hypersensitivity okay so in type 3 hypersensitivity the soluble immune complex are the formed in blood and are deposited in various tissue okay and um, which will activate the classical complement pathway and cause the inflammatory damage so in case of type 2 there is uh, like um, circul uh, when the antigen um, um encounter with the circulatory cell then uh, it can cause the type 2 hypersensitivity but here in case of type 3 hypersensitive what is happening is uh, sub, uh, some of the like uh, complex is uh, accumulated in a particular place okay so that accumulation lead to the uh, type 3 hypersensitivity okay which uh, which will also lead to the complement pathway to neutralize um, uh, like the uh, um, like the antigen okay and it is mediated by the soluble immune complex they are mostly the igg class and although um, uh, means igm is not so much common but it may be also involved but in case of the type 2 um, uh, hypersensitivity there is both the um, uh, antibodies equally involved but here the igg is most common okay and uh, the reaction takes uh, here also it is a immediate kind of the hypersensitivity so it um, it um, happen in 3 to 10 hours okay and the antigen may be um, exogenous like the chronic bacterial viral or parasitic infection okay which will go and uh, uh, accumulated inside our body so that it can lead to the type 3 hypersensitivity okay and the most common example of type 3 hypersensitivity uh, is the systematic lupus uh, erythromatosis um, okay and sle which is the short form of this uh, name okay and the antigen is soluble and not attached to the organ involved okay and uh, the prerequisite for the development of immune complex disease is the persistent presence of soluble antigen and antibodies okay so uh, means for um, uh, happening this type of type 3 hypersensitivity there is like um, pre existence of the soluble antigen as well as the antibody should be there okay otherwise uh, it uh, it is the kind of type 1 or type 2 uh, type of hypersensitivity when it is already present and accumulated in a place then it is called as the type 3 hypersensitivity okay but it also like lead to the through complement pathway it increase the immune response okay so the mechanism of type 3 hypersensitivity is soluble antigen antibody required that is the igg uh, or igm mostly the igg complex okay and um, complex are normally removed by the macrophages in the spleen and liver okay on the formation of excess amount of uh, amount of large immune complex this get um, uh, means lodged in capillaries Uh, then pass between the endothelial cells of blood cell is uh, specifically in the skin okay and um, become trapped on the surrounding basement membrane beneath this cells okay it is accumulated like um, um, uh, uh, means under the skin our joint or the kidney okay so where uh, this local uh, region cause the type 3 hypersensitivity because of the accumulation of the uh, like large immune complex okay and the antigen antibody complex then activated the classical complement pathway um, the damage being caused by the platelets and neutrophils okay and uh, here the massive inflammation happened due to the complement protein uh, c5a okay so uh, as you know like in complement system there are different type of the complement factors so the major complement factor which cause the type 3 hypersensitivity is the uh, c5a okay 
and uh, in that case influx of neutrophils due to complement protein uh, c5a resulting in the neutrophil discharge their lysosome and causing the tissue destruction and further inflammation okay so this complement um, uh, c5a uh, what it will do is it will uh, stimulate the neutrophils okay so um, when neutrophil will be increased then the lysosome content will be also increased which can cause the tissue de de destruction and further inflammation okay so because of the hyper reaction what it is doing is uh, with the neutralizing antigen it is also neutralizing the self um, organ or self tissue okay so that's why most of the hypersensitive reaction is the uh, auto uh, lead to the autoimmune disorder because they are uh, that much hyper like it is um, it should be in a maintained manner so that uh, it won't hamper our body's tissue or organ right but hypersensitivity lead to the autoimmune disorder because it is that much hyper like it can um, uh, it can affect our self antigen also okay uh, so yeah uh then this aggregation of platelet resulting in more inflammation and the formation of the microthrombi that block capillaries okay so once this um, uh, like uh, inflammation will be high then what will happen is uh, capillary of the um, uh, um, body will be uh, blocked okay so it can cause a different type of the symptoms okay because of the blockage so the um, pathology of the type 3 hypersensitivity is the affinity of antibody and size of the immune complex are important in production of the disease and determining the tissue involved okay so it should be very large then only it can called as a type 3 hypersensitivity and where it is uh, like um, accumulating that also matters okay and the lesion contain primarily um, the accumulation contain majorly neutrophils and deposit of the immune complex and complements then macrophages in filtering in later stages may be involved in the healing process okay so some of the macrophage also involved in the healing process of that particular uh, hypersensitivity okay and uh, the clinical um, sign uh, clinical signs are therefore variable but may include the fever cutane, uh, cut, uh, cutaneous sign and um, ataxia behavior change non specific signs such as the vomiting diarrhea and abdominal pain okay so these are the symptoms of the type 3 hypersensitivity so the example of the sorry here wrongly written yeah it is that yeah these are the like uh, <clears throat> type 3 um, uh, hypersensitivity okay here the example is wrongly written okay of type 2 hypersensitivity okay so uh, then we are having the type 4 hypersensitivity okay it is the only one type of hypersensitivity which is uh, showing the delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction okay it takes more than 12 hours to show the symptom okay and uh, which uh, um, uh, persist for the time between 48 to 72 hours okay and it is mediated by the mostly cell uh, uh, cells the cytotoxic t cells and cause the inflammatory reaction to either exogenous or auto um, antigens okay means it can cause uh, for the um, foreign particle as well as the um, for the auto antigens also but it is uh, like um, unlike the other uh, three type of hyper sensitivity where the antibody play major role here the uh, cytotoxic t cell play major role okay the major cells involved are the t lymphocyte and monocyte and macrophages okay and this reaction to exogenous antigens uh, involved t cell and also antigen presenting cells all produces the cytokines okay and that stimulate a local inflammatory response in a sensitized in individuals okay and uh, uh like um, delayed type of hypersensitivity can't be transformed from an animal to another by means of antibody or serum however it can be transformed by t cells particularly cd4 and th1 cells okay so it is uh, because um, uh, uh, like other two types is mainly responsible uh, by the antibody but here it is majorly caused by the cd4 uh, cell or t helper cell so that's why um, it will what it will do is it will go and uh, secrete certain kind of the um, cytokine which will lead to the stimulation of cytotoxic t cell 
ओके एंड विच विल प्रोड्यूस अगेन साइटोकाइंस टू न्यूट्रलाइज और टू लाइक सो द डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म अगेन दिस पर्टिकुलर एंटीजन ओके सो दिस इज द मैकेनिज्म सो सपोज दिस इज द एंटीजन ओके विच विल गो एंड बाइंड टू द डेंड्राइटिक सेल एंड दिस डेंड्राइटिक सेल विल रिप्रेजेंट टू द टी हेल्पर सेल ओके दिस टी हेल्पर सेल विल प्रोड्यूस सर्टन काइंड ऑफ द साइटोकाइन ओके एंड दिस साइटोकाइन विल गो एंड स्टिमुलेट अदर टाइप ऑफ द इम्यून सेल लाइक मैक्रोफेजेस ओके एंड दिस मैक्रोफेजेस वॉट इट विल डू इज इट विल कॉज द इन्फ्लामेशन थ्रू प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस प्रो इन्फ्लामेटरी साइटोकाइंस लाइक इंटरलुक इन टू टी एन एफ अल्फा एंड इंटरफेरोन गामा ओके सो सी डी एट टी सेल एंड सी डी फोर टी सेल रिकॉग्नाइज दिस एंटीजन इन ए कॉम्प्लेक्स विथ आदर टाइप वन और टाइप टू एम एस सी एंटीजन ओके एंड दिस एंटीजन प्रेजेंटिंग सेल इन दिस केस आर मैक्रोफेजेस एंड दे रिलीज द इंटरलुक इन वन विच फर्दर स्टिमुलेट द प्रोलिप्रेशन ऑफ सी डी फोर सेल्स दिस सी डी फोर सेल्स विल रिलीज द इंटरलुक इन टू और इंटरलुक इन इंटरफेरोन गामा विच इज अ काइंड ऑफ द प्रो इन्फ्लामेटरी साइटोकाइंस विच टूगेदर रेगुलेट द इम्यून रिएक्शन अदर लिम्फोकाइंस इन्वॉल्व इन डिलेड टाइप हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन इंक्लूड द मोनोसाइट कीमो टैक्टिक फैक्टर और ट्यूमर नेक्रोसिस फैक्टर अल्फा ऑल्सो ए काइंड ऑफ टाइप फोर हाइपर सेंसिटिव फैक्टर ओके एंड दिस साइटो कैन प्रोड्यूस बाय द किरेटिनोसाइट्स ए पी सी एंड टी सेल एंड एक्टिवेट द सी डी एट सेल विच डिस्ट्रॉय द टारगेट सेल ऑन द कॉन्टेक्ट वेल एक्टिवेटिंग द मैक्रोफेजेस प्रोड्यूस हाइड्रोलाइटिक एंजाइम्स एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू मल्टी न्यूक्लिएटेड जॉइंट सेल्स ओके सो दिस होल थिंग इज नथिंग बट हियर द एंटीजन विल कम एंड बाइंड टू द दिस डेंड्राइटिक सेल ओके दिस डेंड्राइटिक सेल लाइक आदर इट इज हैविंग द एम एस सी वन और एम एस सी टू कॉम्प्लेक्स इट विल रिप्रेजेंट टू द टी सेल ओके मेजरली इट इज सी डी एट टी सेल ओके विच विल प्रोड्यूस सर्टन काइंड ऑफ द साइटोकाइन दिस साइटोकाइन विल बी लाइक इंटरलुक इन टू ट्यूमर नेक्रोसिस फैक्टर अल्फा एंड इंटरफेरोन गामा ओके सो दिस विल अगेन प्रोड्यूस द मैक्रोफेजेस ओके एंड इट विल परफॉर्म द सेलर इनफिल्ट्रेशन और स्वेलिंग ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर लोकेशन ओके सो दिस इज द कंप्लीट मैकेनिज्म ऑफ टाइप फोर हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी देन वी विल सी द पैथोलॉजी सो टाइप फोर हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी इज इन्वॉल्व इन द पैथोजिनेसिस ऑफ मैनी ऑटो इम्यून डिसऑर्डर्स ओके और द इन्फेसियस डिसीज लाइक ट्यूबरकुलोसिस लेप्रोसी एंड हिस्टोप्लाज्मोसिस टॉक्जोप्लाज्मोसिस लिस्मेनियसिस एंड ग्रेनुलोमास ड्यू टू इन्फेक्शन एंड फॉरन एंटीजेंस ओके एंड देर आर थ्री वेरिएंट ऑफ डिलेड टाइप हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी एज लिस्टेड बिलो वन इज द कॉन्टेक्ट अनदर वन इज द ट्यूबरकुलिन थर्ड वन इज द ग्रेनुलो मोटर्स ओके सो ऑल दिस इज हैपन आफ्टर लाइक ट्वेल्व आवर्स इट इज शोइंग द सिम्टम्स ओके एंड द डिलेड टाइप हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी लीजन मेनली कंटेन द मोनोसाइट्स एंड फ्यू टी सेल्स ओके द मीन्स इट इज द साइटोटॉक्सिक टी सेल मीडिएटेड सो इट इज द सी डी एट टी सेल्स ओके एंड या so this um, like uh, in case of if we will see the example the tuberculosis case uh, how we uh, like uh, the testing of the tuberculosis when we do what we will do is under suppose this is the skin so uh, of the human body okay so for checking the tuberculosis what we generally do is um, some antigen of the tuber uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis we injected inside this skin okay L uh, limited amount of the Uh, antigen which doesn't harm for your body um, just to tell identify like this person is having the tuberculosis or not so that time what will happen if this person is having the tuberculosis then this particular site will swell and um, uh, appear as a red color okay so uh, from there we can identify that this um, like um, uh this uh, person is having the tuberculosis okay so this particular type of inflammation what is happening here that is comes under the type 4 hypersensitivity okay because it is um, like uh, happening uh, after 2 days that's why it is a kind of delayed type of hypersensitivity okay so yeah so this is the three different type of the delayed type of hypersensitivity one is the contact another one is the tuberculin and uh, third one is the granuloma okay so 
um eczema uh, in some skin disease if you have seen that is uh, comes under the contact type of the hypersensitivity okay and um, uh, another one is the tuberculin which I, uh, what i told you like uh, inside uh, the skin we have give um, uh, we generally give certain uh, some amount of the tuberculosis antigen so that it can uh, we can identify like this person is having uh, tuberculosis or not okay and um, granul uh, granuloma is like uh, it is um, in that particular site it will, uh, the skin will be hard okay so that is the like um, it is happening in case of the tuberculosis also and leprosy also so this is the delayed type of hypersensitivity okay so this is the four different type of uh, uh, means it is the uh, difference between the type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 okay so um, type 1 is majorly because of the ige mediated hypersensitivity this type 2 is igg mediated cytotoxic hypersensitivity okay this type 3 is immune complex mediated hypersensitivity okay both the cases igm and um, igm is also involved but in case of type 3 uh, uh, it uh, the major means how we will identify like it is type 2 or type 3 here um, uh, it uh, it should be bind with the antigen okay so then only we uh, it should be bind with the uh, the antibody should be bind with the antigen then uh, it is called as a immune complex okay so um, that type of um, um, uh, complex when lead to the hypersensitivity then it comes under the type 3 hypersensitivity but in case of type 2 what is happening is the antibody uh, uh, means pre-exist in the surface of the cell then it will encounter to the antigen okay and uh, in type 4 it is a completely cell mediated antibody uh, sorry cell mediated hypersensitivity uh, here the antibody having no role okay and uh, here uh, like antigen induces cross linking of IgE bound to the mast cell or the basophil with release of vasoactive mediators okay and here antibody directed against the cell surface antigen mediated cell destruction via either complement system or the ADCC okay antibody dependent cell cytotoxicity okay and here the antigen antibody complex deposited in various tissue okay it is accumulated um, in the various tissue which induce the complement activation and uh, <coughs> ensuring the inflammatory response mediated by massive uh, infl infiltration of the neutrophils okay so this complex when accumulated inside of um, inside of certain organ then it will lead to the um, stimulation of uh, neutrophils okay and uh, this neutrophil uh, increment will also increase um, the release of lysozyme which will neutralize this particular complex okay here you can see that this um, immune complex will lead to the complement system and this complement system will then lead to the neutrophils okay this neutrophil will release this lysozyme to neutralize this particular uh, antigen antibody complex okay then um, uh, in case of type 4 it is sensitized by the th1 uh, cells or t helper cell which will release certain kind of the cytokine that activate the macrophages or cytotoxic t cell which mediate the direct cellular damage okay so this is the like antigen um, when presented to the t helper cell okay it will release certain cytokine uh, that is the pro-inflammatory cytokine basically it can uh, in, uh, means stimulate either activated macrophages or the cytotoxic t cell okay then uh, these cells further uh, lead to the cellular damage okay so um, uh, means um, uh, with uh, neutralization of those particular antigen it will also lead to the cellular damage okay then uh, uh, typical manifestation include the systematic anaphylaxis and localized anaphylaxis such as the hay fever asthma and food allergies okay and here uh, it is uh, during the blood transfusion a reaction erythroblastosis fetalis and autoimmune hemolytic anemia we can see the type 2 hypersensitivity okay mm, uh, and in case of uh, like uh, uh, 
आर्थस रिएक्शन एंड सीरम सिकनेस रिमोटोइड आर्थरिटिस इन दैट केस वी कैन सी द टाइप थ्री हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके सो दिस एग्जाम्पल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर लाइक विच टाइप ऑफ डिसीज कम्स अंडर लाइक विच काइंड ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके एंड इन टाइप फोर द मोस्ट कॉमन वन इज द ट्यूबरकुलोसिस ओके और कॉन्टेक्ट डर्मिटिस ग्राफ्ट रिजेक्शन दैट टाइम वी हैव सीन द टाइप फोर और डिलेड टाइप ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ओके so in case of uh, type वन uh, it is the another level of uh, the comparison so here antibody is IgE here IgG IgM here also IgG IgM but here uh, it is the immune complex which uh, stimulate this IgG IgM okay here the like um, it is uh, um, it is in uh, um, released form it is not like in a complex form okay it is accumulated but it is in the circulation okay and uh, this type 4 uh, is not having any kind of the antibody participation okay this antigen uh, will be exogenous in case of type 1 type 2 will um, uh, will be uh, means this antigen will go and bind to the um, antibody which, which, which is attached to the cell surface okay then it uh, type 3 there is the soluble antigen antibody complex but it should be accumulated in the organ okay in type 4 there is the tissue and organ um and the antigen will be okay and the response time is all uh, three is having the immediate type of immune response it is having the delayed type of immune response okay and uh, appearance uh, is the whorl and flare here the lysis and necrosis you can see here erythema and edema necrosis here also erythema and induration you can see okay and uh, histology if we will see the basophil and eosinophil is um, playing major role in case of the type 1 hypersensitivity in case of type 2 there is antibody and complement system uh, type 3 also complement system as well as the neutrophils play major role okay and here uh, the t lymphocytes and uh, mo uh, monocytes or macrophages play role okay and transferred with uh, antibody 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 H here it is transferred with the t cells okay and these are the examples uh, for different type of the uh, uh, hypersensitivity reactions regarding this uh, we are having one question match the hypersensitivity types in group 1 with their corresponding con condition in group 2 so type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 you have to like find out the correct match uh, it is uh, erythroblastosis vitellis host reaction to b we know uh, systematic lupus erith uh, erythromatous and tuberculous uh, tuberculin reaction what will be the correct answer as all of you told like option d will be the correct answer okay so um, as we uh, know type 1 uh, is basically like uh, host reaction to b we know okay where the like uh, this is a kind of al uh, allergic reaction okay where the like um, uh, ige antibody will produce and it will go and bind to the mast cell or basophil cell which will uh, further lead to the degranulation of the histamine and uh, some kind of the bradykinins and uh, uh, plate uh, platelet factors which will enhance the reaction okay and uh, the type 2 reaction is majorly the example of type 2 reaction is erythroblastosis vitellis okay where um, uh, where the igg antibody uh, will uh, lead um, means will help to neutralize the uh, antigen of rh uh, rh antigen it will neutralize okay through the uh, uh, igg antibody okay then type 3 um, um hypersensitivity lead to the systematic lupus er um, erythematous okay so here what will happen is uh, uh, this um, uh, antibody will go and bind to the um, uh, um, particular receptor so that um, uh, the um, function will be um, uh, like uh, di uh, disassembled okay like here if you will see in case of uh, sorry Just a second. Yeah. So, uh, in case of like um, uh, um, SLE, what is happening is uh, here also like. Uh, 
Yeah, here what is happening is uh, the anti uh, antigen will be present in the soluble fraction, and uh, here um, uh, the anti immune complex will be like um, activated the complement system. Okay, and uh, this complement system will uh, activated by the this C5A. Okay, and resulting in the neutrophil infiltration will happen. So that what will happen? This lysozyme and um, will secrete more, and it can cause the disease uh, means tissue destruction. Okay, and uh, further inflammation that is called the SLE. Okay, so yeah. That's why um, the type three will be systematic uh, lupus uh, erythrotomous or SLE. Okay, and in case of type four, that is the uh, tuberculin reaction. Okay, uh, it will be the tuberculin reaction where uh, like uh, it is a delayed kind of the hypersensitivity where you will uh, inject a small amount of the um, tuberculin antigen inside the skin. Then after some time, uh, after some days. Uh, it will create a red uh, area where the um, injection happen okay so that is called the tuberculin reaction okay or delayed type of the hypersensitivity because of the uh, infiltration of um, cytotoxic t cell which will lead to the further release of different type of the pro inflammatory cytokines that is interferon gamma tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin 2 okay so that's why the correct combination will be option d Thank <music> you.